We posed the question, what contraceptive do you think is the best, to a group of on-campus students. Once you've heard their responses, you'll get to learn about the major physical, chemical and behavioural types of contraceptives, how they work and the major pros and cons of each. What contraceptive do you think is the best? As Abstinence. In the, <laughs> <laughs> as in the most effective? Yes, the most effective. IUD? Okay, IUD. Oh yeah, the Marina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would guess that. Okay. Um, so male is usually the condom. And then there's contraceptive pills, there's the emergency morning after pills. I think the pill, yeah. I reckon just condom, surely. Uh, probably condoms, like they have that 99.9% effective um, and they stop diseases as well as pregnancy and easily accessible. Yeah, so condoms and also I know they put a steel bar in some women's arms sometimes to help with uh, certain things. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah. the, for females. Well, it's the IUD for females because I think it's 99.99%. Mm. Okay. I think for the, isn't the male one where it's like they proceed with the operation to yeah. eliminate? Oh, yeah. Vasectomy. Vasectomy. Yeah. That's the, yeah. Like yeah. It's, you're only releasing seminal fluid yeah. instead of semen. Yeah. Probably the condom just for the sake of also protecting against STDs. Yeah. <laughs> condom. Yeah. It seems like the most widely recommended one. Okay. There's the pill, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but that requires a prescription, so like a condom is quite uh, much easier to get. I'm Professor Darrell Russell of the Robinson Research Institute um, and School of Medicine at the University of Adelaide. I'm a molecular endocrinologist, which means that I'm a researcher who's interested in the function of hormones. So hormones control the process of ovulation and um, hormones can be manipulated to, to block that process and, and therefore um, produce contraceptives and I'm interested in the action of hormones in controlling ovulation and developing that technology to develop new contraceptives. At the moment, 140 million couples around the world have unmet need for contraception because of the lack of appropriate available options. What's needed is a, a contraceptive that is um, non-hormonal, that is easily reversible um, and very affordable and very stable so that it can be equally available to, to women in both developed and undeveloped countries. Um, I think the, the ideal contraceptives need to be available for women because contraceptives um, empower women and increase their access to education and, um, and employment. I'd like to see a, a male contraceptive available, um, ideally a non-hormonal contraceptive that has the ability to reduce sperm numbers to below fertile levels, um, giving men the option to control their fertility. But even more importantly, I think I would like to see a non-hormonal contraceptive made available to women that can be used um, outside of the time of sexual exposure, but not throughout the cycle as current contraceptives are used. Um, that ideally would be non-hormonal and therefore safer than the current options, um, that would be readily reversible and um, affordable and easily distributed so that contraception was available to all women throughout the world 